Good evening, everyone. Another full case break of 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Football. This is pick your team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you very much for all these folks getting into the action on new release night. We've got more on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. TJ with that last spot mojo star next to his name. He got the bears, and there's everyone right here. At the end of this break will be the randomizer for the, uh, for the transcendent baseball spot. And at the end of every box, I'll, I'll kind of show the, the hits again, or the autograph again, just so if you're fast forwarding through this video, you can, uh, you can do that. All right, so good luck to everybody. This is an hour long break, so if you intend to watch the whole thing and hang out with me, get comfortable. There are all the boxes right here. And let's do this, folks. We got two hot boxes, and I don't know how many hot boxes there are per case, but I know they exist. We got two in the last one we did. Maybe it's two per case. It looks like they're autograph hot box. Last year there was an autograph hot box and then a parallel hot box. I didn't see a parallel hot box. But we see did see two autograph hot boxes. There were like four or five autographs, at least four, as opposed to the usual one. All right, so this is box number one, pick your team number two. Coming up after this, so we're at the 43 minute mark right now. Coming up after this will be uh, Prism Basketball. Three box pick your team, Prism Basketball filled up. We'll do that. And then once that is done, once that is done, um, we will be close to the, we'll be in the last hour of the broadcast of the show, but we should have time to do both another Bowman's Best Baseball and a flawless, uh, a flawless break. So the second half of that flawless break that we popped open a little bit ago. And then that'll kind of, that'll take us over a little bit, but I think that'll put us at a perfect, uh, perfect place to end the show. So if you're not in this break, I would go to jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. You're not gonna miss much. I'm just opening packs right now. Go to jazbeeshobbyland.com right now if you're watching live and um, go buy a team or two in Bowman's Best and in Flawless. And let's get those knocked out tonight. Remember our Transcendent Baseball promo that's happening in the new releases. Be sure to read all the details on that too. Pretty much just buy two teams and you get an entry into Transcendent Baseball to win a spot in Transcendent Baseball. One entry max per break. All right, good luck boys and girls. We got Brian Hoyer up there, Mike Williams. And we got James Connor, rated rookie. That is out of 299. I, I will uh, set these aside for now. We'll sleeve all of those up um, and top load them before they ship out at the end of the break. Hub City wanted some Raiders. There it is. Some Raider Joe Mojo, Elijah Hood. For the Oakland Raiders, and it looked like there was another autograph there too. This might be a hot box. For the Oakland Raiders, Hub City, that's one. Looks like they're they're incorporating the, the sticker into the design of the card, which I love. You know what I mean? So instead of a, a sticker that's kind of haphazardly placed there, now they're incorporating into the design. I think it looks uh, miles better. Juju Smith-Schuster, not a parallel, but that will ship. Only Vet Base doesn't ship. Isaiah Ford is your other autograph. That goes to the Miami Dolphins. That'll be for JKJ. 31 out of 50. Nice, love the way Optic looks. Great release by Panini as usual. Always, They always do a good job with all this Optic stuff. Design is great, nice and clean. And popular on a secondary market too. Out of 149, Derek Barnett. 
for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll go to William Thomas. We got Red Broadway Joe. Some Joe Mojo. 32 out of 99 for Johnny L. and the Jets. We got Mike Evans for Kyle and the Buccaneers out of 149. Josh Malone, not numbered, Mitch Trubisky, and points. Dak Prescott for the Cowboys in that vintage look, 12 out of 149. That'll be for the boys. That is for Keith. Uh, these points will randomize at the end. If there are more points in there, we're going to randomize them. We're going to collect them together and randomize all of the points to one person at the end of the break. That also takes the place of an autograph as well. Richard Sherman out of 99. Check our Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobbyland. We, um, by the time you, I guess, see this video, if you're watching live, I haven't, point, I haven't posted it yet. <laughs> but we got a one of one Richard Sherman autograph in our last optic break, which looked incredible. So an above average box. Space for myself here. All right, next box. points recently. Didn't we, didn't we see 1,500 points recently or something like that? Over 1,000 points? That'll get you something decent in the Panini Rewards store, that's for sure. Alright, so this is just the second box of so Pick Your Team number two. Panini Donner's Optic Football. Brand new release, just dropped today. Transcendent uh, randomizer will be at the end. Uh, this is this break will take a little while, probably another 45 minutes or so. But uh, once we're done, we have another break lined up. That'll be a three-box break of Panini Prism Basketball. So we'll do that. That break is not nearly as long, and then we'll get into hopefully some Bowman's best, and then close out the night with flawless baseball. That's the plan anyway. So help us out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, good luck, folks. Next box. There's Gronk. 1999, that's Prince. The Juice, O.J. Howard for the Buccaneers. Rated rookie. Love that rated rookie look. We got Todd Gurley out of 299 for the Rams. That'll go to Chris McKeague. Nice. Matt Stafford, Gridiron Kings out of 149. And the autograph is for the Browns. Nice Jabril Peppers. That'll be for Cleveland. That'll be for William Thomas and the Cleveland Browns. That should be out of 25. Yeah, 4 out of 25. Nice low number. One of the bright spots for the Browns. Zay Jones out of 149 for the Bills. That's for Karen. Zach Cunningham out of 50 for the Texans. That'll be for Jason McKee. We got Red... Flash 80, Jerry Rice, 24 out of 99. 
Niners with that insert. Chad. These always fool me. I always feel like... I know they're a different parallel, and they'll ship. I always think they're numbered, though they're not. In case you're wondering why I'm breezing by those. We got Raekwon at a 99. For the Dolphins, JKJ. Yeah, that AKA insert set is actually pretty cool. I like the design of it. Um, I like, I, I, I have to, I'd have to look at the checklist to see who has those inserts, but I wouldn't mind making like, that'd be a cool rainbow to build. You know what I mean? Frame that up, you know? Oh, the Seahawks don't have an AKA card? Yeah, I can't imagine all the teams do. I think only a certain amount of teams have those AKA cards. They could have done like Russell Wilson, right? Dangerous. A four-player card for the Seahawks, a.k.a. L.O.B. Ah, speaking of Russell Wilson, there he is. I could make my own a.k.a. card here right now. Amara Darbo. Fan of the game, Dick Vitale. That'll go to the um, Buccaneers. He's a fan of the Buccaneers, I guess. All right, I, I did not know that. Do you know who has a uh, Do you know who has a good Nick uh, Dick Vitale impression? Nick Nick Jaspi. Next time you see him on air filling in, and if it call if the situation calls for it, get him to do a a, a Dick Vitale impression. It's pretty good. At a one ninety nine, AJ Green. That'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Kyle Kramer and Mitch Trubisky. There, there's where it was. Kyle was looking for this in break one, but instead TJ will get it. Last spot mojo. Kyle Crane will just have to sell for his one of one Richard Sherman. TJ will have to get this one out of 10 Mitch Trubisky autograph. And it's almost like UCLA colors on the border. Nice, that is last spot mojo for TJ. Congrats, man, nice hit. There's Jake Butt. He's a tight end at a 299. That'll go to Tyrone and the Broncos. You are welcome, TJ. Thanks for giving that a shot. There's my boy Derek Carr. 41 out of 149. Yes, my boy still, even after, it looks like there's a little dent right there. Even after that questionable play at the end of Cowboys game. He had the first down. He had like 30 seconds left on the clock and we had a timeout. But, still, still my boy, Derek Carr. <laughs> it was a weird season for the, for the Raiders. Famous Jameis. He is famous. He is Jameis. 71 out of 149. That goes to the Buccaneers. That's Kyle Kramer. But 
Illusions, Desha Deshaun Kaiser, Joe Montana. I don't know why they're they're paired together, but um, we're gonna randomize these left or right, right there. So if there's a serial numbered one, then we'll randomize that separately. But for any of those cards that has two teams on there, we'll go left and right on that. Julio out of 149 for the Falcons. Jason McKee with that one. And we'll uh, softly, soft sleeve and top load all of those parallels a little bit later. <laughs> right, Jason McKee. Yeah, it's not like there was. It's not like they didn't have a running back. The Raiders. It's not like they had a running back that. Could get the ball into the end zone on the one yard line on the next play. And with a timeout, they could have run. That was pretty much the end of the season for my Raiders. Oh yeah, TJ, yeah, Mitch Trubisky sells, so resells pretty well on a secondary market. TJ was doing a little research, he's like, wait, someone, someone's asking 350 buy it now for an out of 50, Mitch Trubisky, and TJ just got an out of 10. Yeah, I mean he's he's a high round, uh, a high first round pick. He's a quarterback, you know, for a storied franchise, and he's playing right now. He's playing all right, and apparently people apparently the Bears are, are the teammates are buying into him. I think he has the confidence of the locker room. You know, the, the guys on the offense believe in him. They see that he works hard, and so they want to help him succeed. So it looks like it could be a good situation for that offense. For that team in general come next year. That's crazy considering that like people are saying, hey, you know, Bears coach on the hot seat. You know, Trubisky, what a mistake drafting him that high, but I guess they're doing okay. Maybe he buys himself another season. This out of the way here. All right. We got Big Ben out of 149. I don't know how many hot boxes there are per case. We saw two in the last case, Mark, but I don't know if that's like, if that's a guaranteed one or not. But we saw a, uh, a two auto plus points hot box a little bit earlier. There's Obi-Wan Kenobi out of 149. That goes to the Raiders. That'll be for Juan. Matt Stafford for the Lions. That'll be out of 149 for Kyle and the Lions. And Davis Webb, another quarterback autograph. Rated rookie on card. That goes to the New York Football Giants. That goes to Mark. Davis Webb might get a little action next year. Out of 299, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan for the Dirty Birds. That'll go to Jason McKee. There's Morton Anderson for the Saints. I don't think that's numbered, but that, that's a cool looking insert too. We got Dalvin Cook. Poor Dalvin Cook. Six out of 99. Should be back on track next year, I hope. Vikings, Dalvin Cook will go to Chris McKeague. And Captain Comeback, Roger Staubach, 55 out of 99. Got 99 problems, but a comeback ain't one. That goes to Keith and the Cowboys. Gridiron Kings, Richard Sherman, not numbered. Chad Kelly out of 299. Got to go to the Broncos. Tyrone with the Broncos. There's that Davis Webb. Nice. Next box. Oh, 
Oh, nice, TJ. TJ's thinking of getting that uh, that Trubisky graded. That'd be cool. Let us know what the uh, if you end up doing it. Let us know what that grade ends up being. It looked pretty nice. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera. But looked pretty good. And because of the the chrome process and the manufacturing, I feel like I feel like optic tends to do pretty decently. Um, seems to do pretty well, act not even decently. Pretty, look, seems to do pretty well when graded. Yeah, the surface is definitely is definitely the big key on those chrome cards. But they seem to, the cards seem to slide, uh, seem to slide pretty, pretty smoothly here. So I think whatever processing or coating they use is as good as it was, I think, last year. Alright, next box. Alright, good luck everyone. Well, there's our first autograph already. Auzi. That's for the Cowboys. Keith with the boys. 52 out of 99. Nice part of the uh, part of that cowboy secondary. Oh, there. Speaking of another defensive player here, Obi Melifamu for the Raiders for Juan. Thirty-seven out of fifty. Raiders need to improve their defense as well. Looks like another hot box is on the way. Philip Rivers out of one ninety-nine. Put these right here. Let's put Philip right over there. That goes to the Chargers, JKJ. Malachi Dupree at a 299 for the Packers, Mike Coster. R. Joshua Dobbs. Good to see you, Mike, by the way. Mike Coster in the house. 143 out of 149. R. Joshua Dobbs, Steelers. Mr. Gallucci with that one. Ryan Switzer, Wayne Gallman. And Stacy Coley for the Vikings. It's a Vikings autograph going out to Chris McKeague. Fins up. Josh Reynolds. Out of 150, rated rookie autograph right on the card for Chris and the Rams. Rams have been playing some very good football lately. 73 out of 150. We'll see how they do in the playoffs. There's Khalil Mack, return of the Mack. 44 out of 299 for Hub City. That's one. Great Iron Kings, Patrick Mahomes, 144 out of 149 for the Chiefs. That will be for the X line. Purple, Mike Evans. I haven't seen a purple yet, I don't think. 25 out of 50. That goes to Kyle and the Kyle and the Buccaneers. And that's that for that box. So it looks like there's, so far, we've only done two cases, but there are two hot box cases two hot boxes per case that is oh 
All right, good luck, everyone. After this box, we will be about halfway through. Pick your team number two, Optic Football. Prism Basketball coming up after this. And then after that, the idea is hopefully we can squeeze in another Bowman's Best Baseball break on jazbeeshobbyland.com and or do both. We can do Bowman's Best and Flawless Baseball, the second briefcase of Flawless Baseball. Do I see orders coming in? I do see orders coming in. That's a good sign. So we'll double check those orders and we'll see what happens. Uh, yes, TJ. Yeah, uh, shoot me an email, jazbeeshobby at gmail.com. And then remind me after this break, because then I can print it out and put it on the shipping center's desk so they, they get that info. No, thank you. Um, that goes for everybody, ladies and gentlemen. If you're like, if you're like off work for a couple of weeks for the holidays, or you're on vacation, or something like that, or whatever the case may be, and you usually have your stuff sent to your work or whatever, or if you're just gonna be out of town and you don't want packages sitting on the front of your your doorstep, uh, shoot us an email at jazbeeshobby.gmail.com and let us know, and we can hold some of your shipments until, and then just sell, send every. You can still break, and we'll just kind of collect them all into one large box and then send it all at once. So just remind, just shoot us an email so I can print it out. Out of 149, Alan Robinson. And then actually, um, and TJ, if you wanna, if you can send us like an email to remind us again that hey, you're back, please ship, that kind of thing. That would be appreciated as well just to make sure we don't forget that part. Usually we're on top of that, it should be fine. O.J. Howard, the juice. O.J. Howard for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 71 out of 99. Please tell me, anyone who lives, lives in Tampa Bay or in the, in the Florida area, that O.J. Howard is doing orange juice commercials. I want to see, or, I, I want to see O.J. Howard doing orange, like local, like a local orange juice distributor or something like that. Miles Garrett out of 299. That's for the Browns. You know, Gridiron King, Samaj P. Ryan, not numbered. Thought it might be. Nice, thanks, TJ. Deshaun Kaiser. Hi, I'm OJ Howard. You know, for. For your for your Tampa Bay football team, you know, because they don't have the license to say their names, the team name. 63 out of 199, the Odell Beckham Jr. Hi, I'm OJ Howard, tight end for your favorite Tampa Bay football club. 43 out of 99, Antonio Brown. Nice one for Michael Gallucci. Here for Florida Orange Juice, 127 out of 149, Aaron Jones. For the Packers, Mike Coster. C-Mac, Christian McCaffrey, 42 out of 149 for the Panthers. That will be Mark with the Panthers. I like those rated rookie, that rated rookie design as well. On card, I always love on card autos. I don't mind the stickers as much, but it's always nice when they're set next to each other. All right, so we're just a little over halfway through the break.
So let's take a quick look at, I think we only have two, what, two more weeks left in the regular season? So right now, from the in the AFC, you have the Bills, Jaguars, Titans, and Chiefs. The NFC, oh, and Patriots and Steelers with the bye thus far. Uh, Falcons, Panthers, Rams, and Saints are currently in the wild card round with the Eagles and Vikings with a first round bye. Those are your playoff teams, folks. In the hunt, in the AFC, it looks like the Ravens and Chargers maybe have a chance. I don't know if the Chargers do anymore after they lost that game to the Chiefs. So they might be a lot further out. I think the Lions are still on just on the outside looking in. So are the Seahawks. Do the Seahawks have a chance? I think Cowboys mathematically have a chance. I think the Lions, Seahawks, and Cowboys mathematically have a chance. But I, I, I think the NFC might be pretty much set. I think it actually might be. Right, because the Falcons are, are the worst wild card team, or wild card round team, and they're at nine and five. Lions are eight and six, Seahawks are eight and six, Cowboys are eight and six. I think mathematically they may have a shot, but I think they, those teams might be pretty much done. My Raiders are pretty much done. I think they, they too have a mathematical chance, like a million different things have to happen. But uh, Raiders and Dolphins are mathematically still in it at six and eight. Uh, Chargers, I think, are a little bit closer at seven and seven. Ravens are even closer at eight and six. Well, there are like the Bills are eight and six, the Titans are eight and six, the Chiefs are eight and six. I think the Jaguars are the only team that have clinched really outright. Charles Harris to 149 for JKJ and the Miami Dolphins. Russell Wilson, 35 out of 99. Nice. It's a nice old school design and insert for Kyle. Peyton Manning, the Sheriff, 73 out of 99. Colts, Johnny L. But with a bunch of 8 and 6 teams, look at the Ravens could, I don't know what their schedule is, but they could have a chance of sneaking in. Isaiah Ford for JKJ out of 299. Dalvin Cook, another insert out of 199 for the Vikings. That'll be for Chris. Darius Stewart rated rookie. Brian Hill for the Falcons, 41 out of 99. Jason McKee with the Dirty Birds. And Zay Jones, wow, nice auto Zay Jones. Making good use of the canvas. His team so far in the playoffs at eight and six. Thus far, 13 out of 50. I think they have a tough schedule though, Karen. I think they face you. I think they face your Patriots, right Karen? In New England, that might be a tough one for the Bills to win outright. Golden Tate, 65 out of 99 for the Lions. And they're still mathematically in it. And there's that box, Zay Jones, nice autograph. Looking at these, this playoff picture right here on NFL.com. I don't know. So what do you guys think? What do you guys and girls think? Bill, out, out of the Bills, Titans, Chiefs, and Ravens, all four of those teams are eight and six. Who, who gets into the playoffs? Who's in, who's out? 
Not sure if the Bills can quite hang on. I think they, I'm pretty sure they have a tough schedule. Ravens get in or Ravens are out? Are Ravens still outside looking in, you think? Yeah, I don't know what their schedule is. Chiefs have suddenly started to look pretty good. Jason McKee saying not, not, not the Titans. Their last two games, they've not looked good. Oh, the last two games of the Titans are Rams and Jaguars? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough matchup. Yeah, Alex Collins. Man, dust off your Alex Collins autographs in his Seahawks gear. Yeah, he's, he's found new life in Baltimore. And they do have a good defense. Looks like, yeah, the they Ravens could sneak in. The, that's, that's the kind of team where, where maybe their regular season record is not impressive, but that's the kind of team where you're like, uh, do I really want to see the Ravens in the playoffs? You know, I don't want to see the Ravens in the playoffs. That kind of team, good defense, good running game, can grind you down. You know, so. All right, next box. We're getting there. We're almost there. Buddha Baker. B. Baker, 36. There you go, Buddha Baker. That's the way to do it. That goes to Ashley. 94 out of 99. Jeremy Hill for the Bengals. That'll be out of 149. Kyle with the Cincinnati Bengals. Chad Kelly, another hot box? There you they're usually supposed to be just one autograph per box. So we saw a box with two autos and points. We saw a proper hot box that had four autographs, and now here's one with two. Uh, Tyrone with the Broncos, that Chad Kelly autograph. Yeah, it is. Quincy Wilson. Blue. Quincy Wilson autograph, 45 out of 75. That goes to the Colts, Johnny L. Our Darius Stewart, rated rookie autograph. Rated rookie autograph for the Jets, Jets, Jets. That also goes to Johnny L, 38 out of 150. Yeah, we're, we have no idea how many. I think there's supposed to be at least one hot box on average. 28 out of 99, Sidney Jones for the Fly Eagles Fly for William Thomas. The famous Jameis Winston. That card is gold. 8 out of 10, famous Jameis Winston for Kyle Kramer. That card is gold, Kyle. Illusions, Des Bryant and Corey Davis, one out of 99. So since that's a parallel, I'll be randomizing between the Titans and the Cowboys. So it'll be different from the regular left-right randomizer. Orange, TJ Watt. 149 out of 199 for Michael Gallucci. Steel curtain turned down for Watt. And Khalil Mack attack, red, 1999. That's Prince. Go, going to Juan, of course, Hub City. Michael Thomas out of 299. And the last bit here. David Nyoku and Corey Davis rated rookie.
So, uh, nice hot box. Three in this case. That's nice. I'll take it. Not complaining. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Not too many boxes to go. We're getting there. We're inching closer and closer to the finish line. I think we're making some pretty good time on this break, too. I think we're only at the 41-minute mark right now, on the time, anyway. 22 past the hour. We should be, we should be done with this in another 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. And then after this, we'll do a, the three box prism basketball break. That will not take very long. That's only like a 15 minute break or so. And then after that, you know, we'll have time to do uh, hopefully a couple more breaks. My plan, my hope, is knocking out another full case of Bowman's Best Baseball, jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think we're already in single digits there. And this might require a little more digging, digging deep in the pockets. But uh, close out the night with a second briefcase of flawless baseball. That's my thought. That's my hope and plan anyway. Hey, if not, no worries. We'll be, we'll be back tomorrow. 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. back there okay here we go let's lead off with Melvin Gordon downtown Antonio Brown 13 out of 50 for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers there you go Ben saying bought two for flawless there you go so he, he wants to see that happen by the end of the night I would too And Alvin Kamara, rated rookie autograph. Nice. That's a nice one for Sean Bratton and the Saints. That is nice. 78 out of 99. Nice Alvin Kamara. Great season for him, too. There's Mike Lennon out of 149 for TJ and the Bears. Although TJ had the, has that Mitch Trubisky autograph, so Glennon's kind of irrelevant, right? Jordan Willis for the Bengals out of 299 for Kyle. And TD Terrell Davis, 34 out of 149. Tyrone with the Broncos, a little opposite Joe Mojo. That Terrell Davis gave me nightmares every Sunday or twice a year when they played the Raiders. Elijah McGuire for the Jets out of 149. Joe Mixon. There it is, 32 out of 99. Bottom right-hand corner for Kyle. Nightmares at Terrell Davis. And that, that silly mile-high salute and all that stuff. 92 out of 99, Shelton Gibson. Nightmares. Shelton Gibson going to the Fly Eagles Fly. That's for William Thomas. Nice Camara. This has been a great break so far. TJ's predicting that there won't be a case hit because there were three hot boxes. That's that's a that's a possibility. The case hits usually are the uh, the the thicker cardstock cards. I think they're the Jersey autos. But we'll see. Three boxes go. Let's see what happens. All right. Good luck. This is a good time. I think we'll we only have two weeks left in the in the in the NFL season, right? So let's play the uh, let's play the better 
than expected or worse than expected game. AFC East, New England Patriots, better than expected or worse than expected. They're 11 and 3 at the moment. I actually would say they they did better than I expected. I know they're always they're always a good team, but they'd be better. I think they play better than expected. Buffalo Bills, 8 and 6, also better than I expected them to be. Dolphins, well, they had their season kind of derailed once Tannehill went down. They're 6-8, they're and eight, but worse than expected. New York Jets, 5-9. and nine. They've been playing some tough football, though. I think they played much better than expected. A team plays hard, and that team actually uh, is pretty good against the spread, <laughs> against the line. They have actually have, I think they have a winning record against, against the spread. AFC North, Steelers are 11-3, and three, although at the very beginning of the season, you would think that people thought the Steelers were falling apart, like they're done. Steelers are finished. But they're 11-3, and three, they look great. Uh, Ravens, I think at 8-6, and six, about what I expected. Bengals 5-9, and nine, definitely not what I expected. They always look good on paper. I thought the Bengals would be much better than 5-9. and nine. Browns are 0-14. I guess I always hoped the Browns would be uh, would be better this season, but I guess they're about what we expected. You would think they would have like a win or two by now. but All right, moving on to this box right here. Well, then we'll get to the rest of the league. Golden Tate third. That is out of 299. That'll be for the Detroit Lions. That's for Kyle. Illusions, Juju Smith-Schuster and Antonio Brown. Man, if they're both on. And speaking of the Steelers, there it is. TJ turned down for Watt. Goes to Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain. And the Steelers. There's Jared Goff. What a turnaround for him. Out of 199 for the Rams. That'll be for Chris. Our Darius Stewart. Ryan Hill for the Dirty Bird. Jason McKee out of 299. Hassan Reddick for Ashley. 7 out of 10 gold on that. Nice, Ashley. Uh, no, no number on that TJ Watt auto, I'm afraid. Just a base auto. This auto looks very similar to JJ's. Drew Brees, green. That is 1 out of 5. Sean Bratton with the Saints. Getting that retro design, Drew Brees. Nice. One out of five. Sean Bratton, you know what that means. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Curtis Samuel for the Panthers. 38 out of 199. I hope that everyone does the trade and whistle with me, right? When when we do this, 007 out of 149, another one for the randomizer. It's fun that way. There you go. So we'll randomize this between this Texans and the Dolphins since. It's numbered. The non-numbered ones will just be randomized as a lot. Left or right teams will get them. Nice. Gabe wants to know the backstory on the train whistle and when it started. The train whistle started very early on in my broadcasting career here at Jaspie's Hobbyland. I kind of thought I needed a. I kind of thought I needed a gimmick. A pseudo gimmick, something that would be kind of fun to acknowledge a, a, a 
a, uh, a monster hit. I realized there was not a lot of breakers that had some sort of catchphrase. And everyone loves catchphrases, right? You know? If anybody watches pro wrestling, catchphrases are awesome. They're, they're a lot of fun. And everyone digs that kind of thing, especially for like fun moments. So that's where it kind of started. Um, Alex's brother, or Alex's brother, Nick's brother, Alex, who's a good friend of mine. That's how I know the Jaspersons. Uh, we call him the A Train, like old, uh, like that old running back for the Bears, I think it was. And then combine that with um, with the who, who's that? What was that commercial? Terry Tate, office linebacker. You guys remember Terry Tate, office linebacker? W one of the funniest commercials that I've ever seen. Um, but he talks about the pain train. The pain train's coming, woo woo, and he does that. So combine all that together, and there's the train whistle. You know, and I wanted to have like a thing where I was like, I hope that's something I wouldn't get sick of after a while. I haven't gotten sick of it yet. I feel like others haven't gotten sick of it yet either. Some of you might have, but now it's like a thing. So yeah, that's 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 where that's where it kind of came from. Those are all the influences that are all wrapped up into into this. Back in the day, some of you might remember this. Back in the day, it was only for one of ones. I only did train whistles for one of ones. But then I realized there were few and far between. So I had to up it to, to out of fives, which were a little more common. AFC South, going back to that. Jacksonville Jaguars way above expectations. 10 and 4. Tennessee Titans about where I thought they'd be at 8 and 6. Maybe a little maybe a little under expectation. I thought they'd be a little bit better. Um, Texans, that's a weird situation. Texans 4 and 10. If Deshaun Watson was healthy and still balling out, they would be way over expectations. Another 4 and 10. Colts way under expectations, but that's because no Andrew Luck. Randall Cobb. Out of 199 for the Packers, that'll be Mike Coster, aka Juice, Le'Veon Bell, 113 out of 149, Michael Gallucci with that insert, Ryan Switzer, that Gridiron Kings is not numbered, Taco Charlton, out of 299. Then there's your Colts, says Kevin Crouch. That's that, that's just that's just no Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck is the kind of quarterback where I don't I mean I'm not sure if you guys would have been a playoff team, but you know certainly would not be sitting at three eleven three and eleven. Andrew Luck could could will a healthy Andrew Luck could will his, your guys' way into like eight wins, nine not probably maybe even a playoff spot actually. I think he might be the difference. <laughs> you guys have a what do you mean you have one of those in your office, TJ? A Terry Tate office linebacker. Yeah, apparently he's the real juice. Out of 149, Adam Shaheen. DeMarco Murray for the Titans. That's cool. 004 out of 149 for Ben and the Titans. There's Corey Coleman. Out of 299 for the Browns. That'll be for William Thomas. There's Miles Garrett for the Browns. That is 1999. That's Prince. 1999. And Kenny G. There it is. What a sexy hit. Kenny G for the Detroit Lions. Kyle Kramer. No, I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. That's a good, that's not Kenny G, but still a good saxophone solo in that song. All right, there you go, Kyle. Last box coming up. Oh, he <laughs> so you, a no BS kind of guy says TJ. I thought you actually had like some sort of like, like, like blow up doll or like some sort of like cardboard cutout of Terry Tate, office linebacker. No, you actually have a guy who's a no BS 
kind of guy. You mess up, he rips you a new one, and he'll reference Terry Tate at least once a week. So he sees himself as Terry Tate office linebacker. That's pretty funny. Is it annoying, TJ? No, you don't have to say. I don't want to get you in trouble. Because there's like the good kind of no BS guys that'll keep everybody on track. And then there's the BS guys that are like, come on, dude. Like, you're like, no one made you boss. All right. Uh, AFC West. Oh, you guys love it. So he's, he's a good kind of no BS kind of guy. All right, that's good. Uh, AFC West. Chiefs. Under expectations for the Chiefs. Chargers also under expectations. Raiders also under The entire AFC West has underperformed this season. But the Broncos really fell off big time, too. I, I did not expect that. NFC East. At 12-2, and two, I, know the, I know Eagles fans are confident, but at 12-2, and two, you always think, man, that's always, that's always got to be over expectations. But nice, great season for the Eagles. So let's see what, what, they, what they can do without Wentz. Cowboys under expectations. Redskins under. Giants way under. 2-12. and 12. I mean, I don't know if they're going to get a playoff spot, but certainly can't be expecting 2-12. and 12. NFC North Vikings about what I think, right? 11-3 and 3 at this point of the season. They're a pretty good team. Uh, Lions 8-6, and 6, probably about what I think. Packers 7-7 seven and seven, under. And Bears, I guess probably about what you would think the Bears would be, 4-10 at this point of the season. NFC South, Saints 10-4. and four. Carolina Panthers 10-4. and four. I feel like that's about what I expected at this point of the season. Falcons 9-5. and five. Same. And Buccaneers, I did not think would be 4-10. and ten. They, they played under my expectations. NFC West, Rams way over. NFC West, Rams way over my expectations. 10-4. and four. No way. That, 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 that's a real big turnaround on all facets of the game. You know, defense looks great. Jared Goff looks great. Gurley's back on track. Seattle Seahawks, a little bit under expectations at 8-6. Cardinals, I guess once they lost David Johnson, you would think that this is about what you would expect from the Cardinals, right? A 6-8 season. And last but not least, the Niners, about what I would expect at this point in the season, 4-10. and But with Garoppolo, that was a great move. With Garoppolo, it seems like they started to turn things around. And that's the NFL. And here's the last box, folks. Good luck, everyone. Jarvis Landry out of 299, JKJ. We got Red Illusions, Mike Williams uh, out of 99. Both are Chargers, Mike Williams and Lance Allworth. Got a few uh, hot boxes here, too. We got Deonta Foreman. Nice on-card, rated rookie on-card auto. That goes to the Texans. That'll be for Jason McKee. 50 out of 150. So not the Deshaun Watson you were looking for, Jason, but an autograph at the end. Is there any more? Maybe the case hit? There's Lamar Miller. Out of 149 for the Texans. What's up, Cody? Oh, I already talked about the Browns. Way under. Now, about what I expected. I didn't think they'd be over, though. There's poor David Johnson right here. Nine out of 50. That pretty much derailed the rest of the Cardinals season. There's the Eagles. Carson Wentz for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for... The David Johnson will go to Ashley. The Eagles will go to William Thomas. Let's see how the Eagles do without the services of Carson Wentz. I think TJ was right. He had predicted no case hit, no relic auto with that extra hot box. Out of 299, Danell Pumphrey. Because I do not see it. That'll be a left-right randomizer. But that extra hot box was nice. There you have it, folks. There is your break. 
here are some randomizers that we need to do. So let's go back to random.org. Let's fire up some blank lists here. All right, so first off, for these right here, that's just a standard left-right randomizer. Then we have those other illusions cards. Both, uh, no, one was out of 149. So there's one, this is the 149 Texans Dolphins. The next one was out of 99. And that was Titans Cowboys. And then the points. Everyone has a chance at the points. And this right here, let's see who gets a spot in Transcendent. Let's uh, alphabetize this list by your first names. You have to buy at least two teams to get one entry in the promo. So Ashley has a spot. Chris McKeague has a spot. Jason McKee has a spot. Johnny with a spot. Joe. Josh. X-Line. Karen. Kyle. Kyle about four teams. You actually probably blocked someone from getting a spot. Mark with two teams, Michael Gallucci with two teams, and William Thomas with two teams. So out of a potential 16 maximum entries, there's only 11. That's really good. Name on top will get one of those $155 transcendent baseball spots where you get a guaranteed hit out of that break. All right, one dice roll for all the lists. It's going to be 10, 4 and a 6, 10 times for each list. Left, right first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Flips to the right side. So all of those non-numbered illusions card will go to the right side. Once again, 4 and a 6. After 10 times, Texans Dolphins, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Texans will win that one. That'll be Jason McKee with the Texans. So you'll be getting this 007 out of 149 Illusions card. Next one is Titans and Cowboys. 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Titans, that'll go to Ben. There you go, Ben. A little, little consolation here at the end. It's 1 out of 99, Corey Davis, Des Bryant. Trying to lot some dust on here. Illusions. Points, everyone has a chance at the points after 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, the X line, you'll be getting 150 points. Right there. And last but not least, the transcendent spot, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Tenth and final time. Good luck. Name on top is the X line. You got a spot in the one hundred and fifty-five dollar transcendent break. There you have it. Thanks very much, everyone. Uh, Joe for JaspiesHobbyland.com. Thanks for doing this, man. This is great. The twelve box break. It's a long one, but thanks for sticking with me, folks. We'll see you next time. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Bye bye.